What's up guys, it's the Weird Food Dude, and today I'm with my girlfriend trying vegan burgers. So we got two different kinds, we got lentil vegan burgers, these are from Aldi, 379 for four. Uh, these are more just like a, like a bean, lentil, veggie, like kind of like, like blend, uh, formed into a burger. And then I have incognito, which is more similar, I believe, to like what you get at McDonald's, Burger King, whatever, where they're starting to do the uh, plant-based stuff, like Beyond Meat or mm -hmm. Impossible Burger. I think this is like another brand like that. Uh, this one's two ninety nine, as you can see there, got it at Kroger, reduced, um, could not justify spending like two twenty five or whatever it is for a couple of them at Aldi, but dollar fifty per burger, and then these were you know less than a dollar. It's not bad. We just got cheddar cheese. It's not vegan cheese. Vegan food's expensive. Um, she's gonna be trying it in barbecue sauce because she's a weirdo. I like barbecue sauce on burgers. I'm not yeah, no, weird. I know. She loves the uh, rodeo burger. I'm being bullied Def already. Definitely check out the rodeo burger at a Burger King, but uh. So you're going for the lentil burger first. I guess I'll try that one as well. And then I uh, put the buns on with like a little bit of butter, crusted them up. Hmm. So the other one, the incognito, I believe is supposed to taste like beef. I've never had one. Probably try that on Fast Food Friday sometime. But this one you can tell straight away. That it is not a beef I like burger. it though. It's good. You can tell that it's veggie straight away. This one's lentil veggie. They had a kale um, veggie. I didn't know and they had a mushroom one too. Um, Wanna try the barbecue sauce or no? Try it. Yeah, you can oh, yeah. see. I don't know if it's focused. It's not. It's good in the barbecue sauce. It's good without the barbecue sauce. It's got little bits. Oh, like, you yeah. can see like little bits of carrot um, in there. Unfortunate. But you can't really taste the carrot, which is nice. <laughs> um, get a patty. If you look at the patty, you can see little bits of, like green, orange, whatever, from the different vegetables um, they put in there. The main ingredient is beans, uh, and the second is lentils. Um, so that one's pretty good. Um, I think, so I'm gonna compare these. I, is it as good as a regular burger? No. Where does it, and then, so I'm gonna give it a rating on how good it is. I'm gonna give it a rating on how close to a regular burger it is. Um, so is it, like it's, rate, it's similarness to a burger rating. I'm gonna give it a four. I can immediately tell it's not a burger. It's not remotely similar, yeah. but it does have like the same texture sort of goes well on the patty with the cheese You know, it's it's a good like sandwich like like a burger is uh, so I'm gonna give it a four now for the taste. I think I'm gonna go with an eight. It's pretty solid could be better um, But could certainly be worse. It's better than I was expecting. What are you gonna give it? Seven and a half. Seven and a half All right Do you want to rate how how close it is to a burger or not? It's not close at all. I'll just say that. Okay. Yeah, I might, I might even reduce it to a three, actually. But uh, next, we have Incognito. Now, this one's a thick boy. These ones are more expensive um, by a little bit. Looks more like a burger on the mm -hmm. outside. Hmm. That one's really... So, Is it gross? No. No, the crunchy bits on the outside where it's sort of like, like, you know, it's a little brown. That's how I like my burgers, a little bit of crunch on them. That actually tastes a lot like a burger. Um, and it, it has, like, sort of the aftertaste of a burger. Like, almost the grease in it tastes like a burger. Even though, now, one thing with these, neither of them produced any grease. Uh, so I had to put oil in these to cook them with. But that one, it's odd, though, that the grease does resemble um, an actual mm -hmm. burger. Mm -hmm. That one's really good, too. I'm trying barbecue sauce. That one's definitely way closer to a burger. Mm -hmm. It's also really good, too. You need to try the, like, Impossible Whopper from mm -hmm. Burger King now. Yeah, I'll probably do that for a Fast Food Friday at some point. Um, I was going to compare these to, like, a burger in the same video, but I, mean, I know what a burger tastes like, so I don't really need to, to like, eat it. God, my heart's getting tired. But uh, I, I like that one better. 
Granted, I like burgers, um, so I'm interested to see what you think about it. I'm going to give that, how similar is it to a burger? I'm going to give it an 8. Mm -hmm. That's almost, it's very burger-like. I can tell, I can tell that it's not a burger, but only because, I think, like, if you give, if you gave this to me and was like, here's a burger, I'd be like, okay, this is just an oddly cooked burger, maybe. Mm -hmm. So yeah, 8 out of 10 for that. As for the taste, I'm going to give it slightly higher. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go with an 8.5. Close to a 9. It's, it's really good. I'm a big fan of it. It goes all with cheese. What are, you, what are you thinking? Oh, I thought that was a 10 first. 8? 8 out of 10? Alright, so there we go. That one is distinctly better uh, for us. And yeah, it is a lot more like a burger. Is it worth the extra 50 cents per patty? I think so, actually. Would I buy it again? Yes, for both. I'm probably going to go check out the other types of uh, the lentil burger. Um or whatever, the Aldi ones, um, and definitely the Incognito, I will, uh, I will definitely look out for it. I'm not going to spend, you know, 2 to $3 a patty, but if it's on sale, $1.50 a patty, not bad. Um, I like this one, which is the one that we did first. Mm -hmm. the, only, the only thing that scares me is just what it looks like on the inside, but... It's just like, uh, so it's like if you were... Both the cats were very interested in this video. Here, here's it. Say hi. No. Sausage. That's Sasha. We call her Sausage or Salsa. And niece is over there. I don't, I don't think you've seen her before. She she was smelling the other one. Probably because Sasha's ever smelling this one. They don't. They won't go check out the same one. Um, I forget what I was saying. You remember what I was saying? burger I don't know they're, they're good burgers how they look oh yeah it's it's like it's like how if you're making like meatballs you would get like ground beef and onions and whatever else you put in meatballs and you would like like shape it into a meatball mm -hmm. you can tell that like that's what they did with like the beans and the veggies and lentils and stuff with this stuff um so yeah with that in mind I'm not I don't really mind that texture but yeah it would be a little, if you handed me this one and was like here's a burger I'd be like no that's not a burger. Get out, get and out the here. taste too, when you put it into your mouth, is very like smooth and beany. Yeah. Whereas the other one is like chewy, like mm -hmm. meat. Yeah. And I'm actually I'm very surprised with the incognito burger because obviously I, I like my ingredients. I like my nutrition labels. Main ingredient is water. Second, soy protein concentrate, then canola oil, palm oil, and methyl cellulose, and then everything else contains two percent or less of. So I was actually, I was fully expecting this to be bland and weird. And it's it's very good, actually. Mm -hmm. And I wonder if it's less calories than an actual burger. No, that's my only gripe with it. Um, oh, it's not? It'll be similar, but it's $2.50 uh, for a patty. How much is, is a normal great. burger, you know? I don't, but if I had to guess, probably somewhere around that. It also, this, this has, one's only has one fat, 40. too. This yeah. one's only 140 This Granted, is definitely a healthier option. Although this one's also a lot thinner. Uh, pound for pound, they're probably pretty similar. This, this is a... Uh, like four point two five ounces per patty, and this is like two point five ounces. So yeah, they're so these ones are are probably in about about two hundred calories, two hundred twenty uh, for a patty the size of the incognito. So definitely of the two incognito, and it definitely it makes me want to try out Impossible Burger and Beyond Meat one hundred percent. What's Beyond Meat? Beyond Meat is similar. I've seen their sausages a lot, like in like Kroger in stores. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I might I might try some more vegan stuff. If you want me to do a video. Just trying a bunch of... Hey! Be nice! Be good. Cats are swatting. Good parenting. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to see a video of uh, us trying just like a, a few, like maybe like five different vegan things, like sausage, nuggets, whatever well, else. Well, we know we like veggie sausage. We've had that. Remember you got those? Cause they were I was thinking more like the fat beyond like meat and links though. Mm -hmm. we, had, we had like a little like round I love like Morningstar sausage. Yeah. Those are very good. So um, good. But yeah. Leave a like if you want to see that. Uh, eight likes. I'll do it for eight likes. Not a whole lot, but I put it at the end of the video. It's going to be expensive because, you know, vegan stuff. That's why I don't eat a lot of vegan stuff. But if I can find it on a sale like this, then gravy. Well, we got 20 seconds left. You think I'm going to make it to 10 minutes? That's probably really annoying, but... Yeah. Make sure you dislike the video for that annoyingness. I'm gonna count. You guys this. like my bangs? Just eight, eight engagements. 
Do you like my bangs? You know I like your bangs. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be the video. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't really need to hit 10 minutes, but it's whatever. Hopefully you stick by to the end. Leave a like if you did, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time.